everyone. I'm a little out of breath, I apologize. I have been hiking all morning, since early, early this morning, since it was just barely light enough to see. And it has just been a magnificent day out here. I haven't seen many animals, but, you know, I saw a rabbit earlier, that's pretty fun. I have seen a few deer. I've seen a lot of tracks, though. I saw, well, first of all, there's a lot of rabbit tracks just right under here. Um, but I saw a lot of deer tracks, some turkey tracks, even saw some mountain lion tracks, which was really cool. Haven't seen the mountain lion yet, unfortunately. Glimpses of those guys are far and few between. But every time I can even just see their tracks, it's just exciting to know that they could be watching me right now. You know, it's weird to think it's, it's that time of year already. We're starting a new year, and every year around this time, I like to do a review of the previous year. And with it being New Year's Day, I thought it fitting to uh, start the new year with a review of some of my favorite images from last year. This is a video I did similarly uh, last year. Last year, though, I didn't review my favorite images. I went over some of my favorite encounters from that year, or the previous year. This year, though, I did want to go over my favorite images because I did take some images that I'm really happy with this year. I'm just really excited about. And so I wanted to review those images. So follow along this week as I review my favorite images of 2022. So to preface this video, these pictures are in no way ordered from least favorite to favorite, anything like that. All except for maybe the last picture in the bunch. That one was really easy for me to pick as my favorite picture of 2022. The others though, I don't think I would be able to order them in any sort of way. So uh, they're just a bunch of pictures that I took in 2022 that I loved, my favorite images from this last year. To start this video off, let's jump right in with a picture of a little western screech owl. This picture came from a brief encounter I had with this owl. I was able to find it in its little tree hole, and he peeked out at me and uh, just kind of watched me as I took some pictures of him. I was able to watch him that evening as he came out and flew around and hunted for a little while. And it was just a very special opportunity for me. The reason I liked this picture so much is because I took a very similar picture to this quite a few years ago. Uh, it was the exact same tree hole, the same species, and I was able to get a picture of a little owl in this hole, but it was a little bit more noisy than I, I liked, and I always wanted an opportunity to redo uh, that picture to get another chance at an owl in that tree hole. And early last year, I was able to get that opportunity with another western screech owl as he peeked out at me from that hole, and I was able to get a much cleaner image with a lot less noise, a lot sharper, just everything about it I liked a lot more than that previous image. So I was really happy to be able to have another opportunity at uh, an encounter that I had years ago. The next picture that I wanted to bring up in this video is one of a North American river otter. Earlier last year, I had an amazing encounter with a group of river otters. I was hiking along when I noticed a lone river otter dragging something through the water. It soon came up on some rocks and I realized that it had caught a seagull and it started eating the seagull. And before I knew it, another group of otters came in and started sharing the seagull with that lone otter. And not long after that, another group of otters came in and started feeding alongside those other otters that were there. All in all, there were about nine river otters, I think it was, that came in and started eating that seagull. And it was just such an amazing opportunity and encounter uh, just to be able to watch those otters interact with each other, eat that seagull, and the surrounding area was just beautiful. I was able to get an image of a lone otter on the rocks as it was just enjoying itself eating the seagull. It's a very simple picture, but I really liked the surrounding rocks. I liked the otter hauled up on it with its still damp fur and it just looks like it's enjoying itself there on the rocks. It was an image that I really liked. A few months ago, I came out with a video where I got out and was able to photograph some mountain goats on a backpacking trip. 
It was an amazing trip and I was able to photograph those mountain goats and some other wildlife as well that I saw on that trip. If that's a video you haven't seen yet, go check it out after this one. It was such a fun trip. On that trip, I took a picture and I mentioned it in that video that it was one of my favorite pictures that I had taken. And it's just a very simple picture of a younger mountain goat as it's surveying the land and the sun is setting. Uh, it gave me a very nice pose and I was able to photograph it from behind. The background was just amazing. The color that I was able to get because of the setting sun was just gorgeous. And it just quickly became one of my favorite pictures uh, that I took this year and probably my favorite picture of a mountain goat that I've taken ever. It was just such a fun trip and what an amazing opportunity to spend time with those goats and to be able to capture that beautiful moment with that younger mountain goat. This year I was able to spend some time with a family of burrowing owls. This was a species that I've been wanting to photograph for quite some time now. And over the years, I've been able to get some pictures here and there of some burrowing owls, but I've never been able to really spend time with and photograph a family of them. So that was one of my main goals this year. And I was able to make it happen. I was just so grateful for the circumstances leading to those images that I was able to get of those beautiful owls. I had spent time with multiple families trying to photograph them and they were so skittish that I chose not to photograph them. I chose to back away and keep looking for other families and I'm so glad that I was able to do that, uh, that I chose to do that because it led to me being able to find a family of burrowing owls that was so comfortable with me being with them and I was able to photograph them one evening and again the next morning. And it was just such an amazing opportunity to spend time with the adults and their young, their energetic young as they jumped around and uh, you know flapped their wings. They jumped on each other, it was just so fun. And if you've ever seen those young burrowing owls, they get so curious if they've never seen people before. So I was sitting there photographing them and one of the little ones, he's just looking at me and he turns his head and, and then he uh, opened his mouth really wide and just the expression on its face made for a really fun picture and I was so grateful for that uh, the evening and the morning after just being able to photograph that beautiful family of owls out in the remote desert. It was so much fun. Last spring was absolutely incredible for wildlife photography. I had some amazing encounters with some awesome animals. A lot of those animals being animals that I deliberately went out to look for in hopes to find and photograph. But one of those species was just a chance encounter that I wasn't expecting, but then it led to many other encounters after that. And if you've seen some of my previous videos from last spring, you probably already know what I'm gonna talk about. It was with a bunch of minks that I was able to photograph. I had a chance encounter with one mink and by observing its behavior and recording its behavior, I was able to photograph it uh, multiple times. And then after that, I was able to go out and find a family of minks, which was just incredible. And my time spent with that family of minks was so much fun. Uh, they have quickly became one of my favorite species to photograph. It was just such an amazing opportunity to photograph that family. Now, while I had so many amazing opportunities to photograph the family together, my favorite image actually came from just one of those minks as it went out on a little branch that was overlooking the river that I was photographing them next to. The light was beautiful and I was able to get just a subtle reflection of it in the water below it as I photographed it on this little branch as it stuck out over the river. It was just such an amazing opportunity and quickly became one of my favorite pictures that I took last year. One of my favorite animals to photograph throughout the year are bighorn sheep. They're just these regal, very majestic animals and I love spending time with and photographing them. I was out recently with a group of bighorn sheep photographing a smaller ram with some ewes when they all looked over a little bit down the mountain and so I looked over as well and a larger ram emerged from some of the rocks there. I hadn't seen him at all uh, earlier that morning so I was really just pleasantly surprised when he came out of the rocks. 
he came up and joined the group of bighorn sheep that I was photographing and gave me some really nice poses. Now I photographed a lot of bighorn sheep over the years, but one of these pictures that I took quickly became one of my favorites. Just the pose that he gave me was gorgeous, the background was absolutely stunning, and I was able to get some ewes in the foreground, some female sheep in the foreground. And this just quickly became one of my favorite bighorn images that I've ever taken, and one of my favorite images from 2022. We've already talked about two different species of owls in this video, so let's just add a third. Last autumn, I was able to spend some time with some great gray owls. I went on a couple different backpacking trips looking for these beautiful owls to hopefully find and photograph. My main goal for those trips was to be able to photograph some owls as they were flying, as they were hunting and an opportunity presented itself, and what an opportunity it was. This owl had just launched from a pine tree, and he was going down uh, trying to catch a vole or some sort of rodent, and as he was in the air, uh, the background was just gorgeous. There were some beautiful yellow autumn leaves back there. His legs were hanging down. He just gave me such a cool pose in the air as I photographed him and the image that I took quickly became one of my favorite images that I've ever taken, not just from 2022, but one of my favorite images ever. What an amazing opportunity to photograph those owls, and it's just a series of encounters that I still think about almost every day. What an amazing opportunity that was. Last year was so incredible for me for wildlife photography. I've been able to share with you some of my favorite images from last year, but before I get to the last one, I wanted to share with you some of my honorable mentions, if you will. I had so many amazing encounters with different species that I can't possibly include them all into this video without making like a two hour video. So. Last spring, I spent some time with so many different ducks. Pintails, specifically, were one of my favorites. I came away with some images that I really liked. I just had a blast with those beautiful, beautiful birds. Usually in these videos, I have some pictures from Alaska. Each year I go to Alaska, I photograph the bears and the ptarmigan and the other wildlife out there. This year, though, I focused so much on video that I really didn't get a whole lot of pictures. I got some incredible video footage that I was just so happy with, and if I was reviewing video footage in this video as well, then uh, some of those clips would be at the top of the list. But because I wasn't focusing as much on pictures this last trip, I didn't have any that I really wanted to include in my favorite pictures from 2022, but I still did get some fun pictures of both the bears and the ptarmigan that I'm really happy with. There were so many other beautiful animals that I was able to photograph, but my favorite image from 2022, and possibly my favorite wildlife image that I've ever taken, came while photographing a family of kit foxes. Now these are special foxes that I just love spending time with and photographing. They've had a lot of hardships, though, in recent years in my area, and their numbers are really starting to decline. But this has given me an opportunity to expand my search when looking for them, to search different areas that I hadn't before and get to know this new terrain. And it's been a lot of fun exploring these areas. I was photographing a family of these foxes one evening, when one of the young, one of the kits, got especially curious with what I was doing, lying on the desert floor taking its picture, and he started to approach me, and he was sneaking through the grass, coming up on me, uh, coming just directly at my camera, and I was able to get some extremely detailed images, uh, detail in the eye and the face and the fur, he got his big ears sticking up, just this beautiful fox. The sun was setting and I got some beautiful light on it. It was just such an amazing experience. Uh, just all the encounters that I had with these beautiful foxes this last year. It was such an amazing encounter that I had and one that I will never forget. Like I mentioned before, 2022 was an amazing year for me for wildlife photography. Many of these pictures that I've shared with you today quickly became some of my favorite pictures that I've ever taken over all the years that I've been photographing wildlife. I thank you so much for the support that you show me here on YouTube and on my other platforms 
as well. It keeps me doing what I'm passionate about, what I love doing, sharing wildlife and nature with you and with other people who may not be able to get out into nature and have the experiences that I do. I love taking you guys along with me on these weekly videos, showing you the beautiful animals that I get to spend time with, and I hope you're enjoying the content on this channel. Again, I thank you so much. I'm so excited for this new year that we have ahead of us. I've got so many fun adventures planned, brand new adventures, things that I've never tried before, species I've never photographed before, and I can't wait to share it with you here on YouTube and again on my other platforms as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It was so much fun going through all these pictures and deciding which ones to share with you in this week's video. So I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe out there and we'll see you next time.